And now we're joined by the other side of the team, head coach John Roberts for volleyball. Talk about your season so far, not your season, but preseason, I should say. Oh, it's been the best that we've ever had. Uh, the freshmen are awesome. The energy in the gym is fantastic. I think the, uh, the student athletes are really excited to be back at school and looking forward to uh, a great season. We've got some uh, great stuff coming up as a program. We're taking a big trip out of region and just everybody's got uh, a lot of excitement. Uh, talk about, uh, Hannah Holden mentioned you guys are going up to Fort Kent and you're gonna camp as a kind of team uh, bonding situation. Uh, talk about that a little bit. Yeah, we're uh, leaving tomorrow, and we're going to go uh, play some volleyball up there, and then we're going to camp at one of the state parks and uh, take in Maine. Uh, I know it's the first time camping for many of the players, so I think there's <laughs> a little apprehension. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to cook out and uh, do some mores and campfire stuff. It should be yeah. great, yeah. It's going to be like tenting. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we're committed. We're going. Holy cow. So up to Fort Kent, that's like a five-hour drive. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So we'll take our time. We got lots of uh, drivers. We'll rotate out and make sure everybody's safe. But we're gonna take our time getting up there and then uh, play some volleyball, and then we should have plenty of time to set up camp and and get dinner cooked and spend some time uh, going over some team uh, some team um, expectations and, and sort of like vision for where we're going forward. That's awesome. That sounds like a great time. That's, that's, I wish more teams could do stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, I thought it was a good idea. I, we'll see if they come <laughs> back and hate it. <laughs> well, the, the, the players I've talked to so far both thought it was a good idea, so they're on board. Cool. Yeah, you have some good leaders here. Definitely some good leaders on this team. So your big trip, now that's, that's a very cool thing, and I think it might be, I don't have any history of it in the last 20 years of this team, this program, having gone on any trip, anything close to this. Yeah, so, you know, um, traditionally I think we've been a program that's recruited a lot from in New England. And, uh, you know, when I took over, I really tried to stretch it out and uh, reach out to players from all over the country. And so part of that uh, has been sort of a commitment that we want to try our best to get the team to travel to the areas that the players are from so that their extended families, grandparents, and aunts and uncles can see them play and not have to um, come all the way to Maine to do that. So this will be the first time that we're doing it. We're going down to Texas. we got uh, two players from Texas this year. We're lucky to have them, and um, it's going to be great for their families to be able to see them play live um, with our team. Yeah, that's very cool. And that's, Is that something you will do every couple of years, you think? Is, I know other programs do it that way. Yeah, fingers crossed this one goes off well. And then, yeah, yeah I mean, that's the idea is, uh, you know, we've got some players from – Florida and Tennessee and we've got a commit from Virginia Beach so we've got lots of uh, places to go and so uh, we've got some other players in the works and hopefully we'll have lots of destinations over the next few years. Now that adds another element to recruiting you should be like going to like Hawaii and <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know things like that that's really cool. Yeah any Hawaiian players reach out yeah let me know. Big big goatmonks.com following in Hawaii so I'm sure we'll get some hits. Uh, Talk about the talent on this team. And some talented freshmen coming in, returning players. Um, of course, the you know the COVID thing, having missed a year for these seniors uh, and the and the juniors, of course. So just talk about the makeup of the team. Yeah, I think we we have the most talented team that we've had since I've been here. Um, the level in the gym has been super competitive. You know, we always try to start off with some basic stuff, but this year we've jumped right into competing hard six on six and getting after it. Um, you know, I think everybody understands that it's going to be competitive this year. Everybody is on board with, you know, trying to put our best foot forward in the conference, and we, we've got some pretty aggressive out-of-conference uh, schedule. We're going to be road warriors in September. I think our first home Saturday match is October 1st, so we should be well-seasoned by then. And... Um, but yeah, the freshmen have come right in and, and competed right away. Um, I think they feel super comfortable in the gym um, because of how welcoming the, the upperclassmen have been. And I just think um, our program has taken a step forward in terms of just welcoming talent and understanding that, you know, the better the players are in the gym, the better everyone in the gym is going to get by playing those players. So uh, I feel like it's the first time where that's, uh, you know, nobody has a concern over, is this person going to play over me? It's just, let's put, let's let's make the team the priority and do the best that we can. And uh, hopefully that lasts. And I think it's a, I think it's going to be a special season for us, honestly. 
Excellent. Yeah, I really look forward to seeing you guys play and, and uh, you know, progress to that next step in these conference games. You have some big conference teams coming in, some of the favorites, uh, you know, Johnson Wales at the end of the year, and I think you have Riv at home too this year. So that, that'll, be, uh, that'll be good to see right in front of our home crowd. Yeah, you know, I mean, obviously that's the that's the goal is to get up there, you know, and I think the first step is to is to compete a little bit harder with the, um, you know, the next group, the the three through five group. I think, uh, you know, that's our goal this year is to compete hard with them and then, um, you know, go into the go into the playoffs with an open mindset and understand that we can. I think we can compete with anybody in in the GNAC. It's just a question of, you know, bringing our. Um, bringing our best and, and being mentally strong in those situations. So. Yeah. All right, Coach. Good luck this year. I really look forward to seeing you play, and, and thanks for taking the time. Yeah, thank you so much.